All right, finding the equation of a circle in standard form, given a graph. All right, so first let's look at the standard form for the equation of a circle. So the standard form, the equation of the, of the equation of a circle with center hk and radius r is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. All right, so to find the equation of a circle, all you have to remember is you need the center, you need HK, and you need the radius R. Okay, so let's take a look at the example. All right, so write the standard equation of the circle from the given graph. All right, so to find the equation, we need the center. So we need the coordinates for the center, and we need the radius of the circle. All right, well, what they do here is they give us two points on the circle. And the two points represent, if you connect the two points with a line, it's the diameter. You can see it goes through the center, and it's labeling this line as the diameter. All right, so... If we have the diameter, we know the radius is half the diameter. So we can find the midpoint of this line. Okay. So if you're at this point in math, then you should have gone. You should have gone over the midpoint formula and the distance formula by now. So I'm going to assume you know how to do that. And and hopefully you can see these, but this is the point 36, this is the point 54. Okay. All right, so let's find the coordinates of the midpoint. Well, let's write down the formula for that. So the coordinates of the midpoint of a line segment with endpoints x1, y1, x2, y2 is x1 plus x2 over 2, that's the x coordinate, and the y coordinate is y1 plus y2 over 2. All right, now as far as the two points go, it makes no difference which one you call x1, y1, and which one you call x2, y2. I guess what we'll do here, we'll call this point x1, y1, we'll call this point x2, y2 and like I said you could swap them if you want all right so the center is x1 plus x2 over 2 and the y coordinate is y1 plus y2 over 2 and so the center is 8 over 2 10 over 2, and so the center is 4, 5. All right, so that's the coordinates of the center. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and write that right here. Center is 4, 5. Okay. All right, so now, now we need the radius. All right, so the radius, well, I can find the distance from here to here using the distance formula. Let me go ahead and write the distance formula down. So remember the distance formula is the square root x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. All right, <coughs> so now So I want to find the distance between this point and this point. If I wanted to, I could find the distance between this point and this point. It makes no difference. It's the same. That's the diameter, and this is half the diameter. Okay. All right, so the radius is the square root of x2. Uh, we'll keep this x2, y2, and 
and we'll go ahead and let's scratch that out for now and we'll change this to x1 y1 all right so i've got x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared and so that's the square root of 1 squared plus negative 1 squared which is the square root of 1 plus 1 which is the square root of 2 so that's my radius alright now I want to show you one thing because this could happen let's say that when you calculated the coordinates for the center and you ended up with a fraction okay well if you end up with a fraction then to find the distance just think you're gonna have fractions in here that you're gonna be subtracting and finding the square root of and all that stuff okay and that might make it a little more difficult for your calculations and also while you were finding the coordinates for the center you could have made a mistake okay so let me show you another way to find the uh, radius and I'm gonna go back and label this x1 y1 so in case in case say you found the radius and let's just say for the center you got fractions and you didn't want to work with fractions well what we could do is we could find the diameter and I'm going to show you how this works so let's find the diameter first Okay, so I'm going to use the point three six and five four. Okay, this right here is really this right here is not part of the problem. What I'm working in red, it's just an alternate way of finding the radius. Okay, so I've got x two minus x one squared plus y two minus y one. minus y1 squared so that's going to be the square root of 2 squared plus negative 2 squared equals the square root of 4 plus 4 which is the square root of 8 and then we know the square root of 8 is 2 square roots of 2 okay so that's the diameter now watch this so the radius if this is the diameter the radius is the diameter divided by 2 and you see how the 2's cancel and that and you can see we get the same answer either way okay so like I said in this problem I would have just found the radius like this okay I would have done this but if you come up with a center that's a fraction and you don't want to deal with fractions in here use these two points and then find the diameter and then just half it okay that's one thing way to look at it and if say this point is a fraction and this one's a fraction too well then you're just gonna have to work with fractions okay but that's what I showed you here in red that's one way that you can avoid fractions if you get a fraction for the center but we didn't so we would have just done this we would not have done this okay so hopefully I'm not confusing you all right, so let me let me erase this. Let me get this out of the way. All right, so now we need the standard form. We have our center and we have our radius. So remember the standard equation x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. All right, so we just plug everything in. So that's x minus 4 squared, so I plug the 4 in, plus y minus 5 squared equals square root of 2 squared. And so this is going to be x minus 4 squared plus y minus 5 squared, write that a little better, equals 2 square root of 2 squared is 2 and so 
this is my answer. Alright, so that's the end of this video. Uh, hopefully it helped. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And check out my other videos. Alright, thanks.